Show me your belly. Oh, look at her. You're so pretty, Cookie. My makeup room is a mess. I'm trying to fix it. Welcome to week number 30. Dirty. Yeah, my makeup room is the worst it's ever been. I think people have launched so much stuff for Christmas. And instead of just putting it away because I don't have anywhere to put it because everything's full, I've just been piling everything up. So I'm trying to sort through it now. I'm making piles for giveaways. I'm making piles for friends and family. That's what I'm doing today. More house prep. We're getting radiators off for the plaster coming this week. Too fake's fine. Got a bit of a cold. Obviously, wouldn't be a vlog with me if I wasn't sick. So that's what's happening. This this was up. Oh, it's Monday and I have my first day back at personal training today since I've been sick slash toothache slash whatever. I've just not been well enough. I know I've got a bit of a cold just now, but I actually feel fine. And I'm telling myself that until I believe it. Finished Jack's Christmas shopping. I keep on saying I finished my Christmas shopping. I wrapped everything up and I hadn't. I had to get more stuff. But yeah, everything's good. And we're just on the, well on the way to just looking forward to Christmas. Look at my pink face. Cara's made me have the heating on because she's cold. And I, I, cold. I actually think I'm going to put on fire. <laughs> we're just standing, not standing, sitting in the car outside Cycle Box. Gearing up for it. <laughs> We've both not been in two weeks. I look like an actual slapped arse <laughs> because of my face, like my pink cheeks. I'm so cold. I don't know how you're cold. That was a fun car journey though, we're talking about my hen weekend. <laughs> it's going to be the silliest time ever. Um, yeah, we're just waiting outside. It starts in six minutes. It'll be good. Oh, there's Mandy. There's Mandy there. Oh, Mandy. <laughs> So fresh, so clean, so clean, so pretty. So, I went to Cycle Box last night and I felt way better after it than I did when I started. Way better. So that was good. I woke up today, I've got a cold, so I just feel rubbish in the morning and then within like a couple of hours it goes away mostly and then I wake up and then it's bad again. But, where's my phone? Uh -huh. We've got a busy day today. At 12 o'clock, I'm going to La Belle Forum for my, I always forget the name of it, Isolus, Insulus. Oh, I can't remember. But my hot neck thing that I'm getting done, which is helping my jawline get sharper, which is good. So from 12 until 1, I've got that. And then at quarter past 2 in Mezar in the West End, I'm getting my hair done. So that'll be great. So I've got an hour and 15 minutes in between the appointments. I've just realised, idiot, I'm flying down to London tomorrow for a photo shoot. Hopefully I feel a bit better. Hopefully this, honestly, the, the whole situation is much better. It's just one, just this one guy. Yeah, so I'm flying down for this photo shoot. I can't have these nails. If I turn up with these nails, they'll be like that. Pardon? So I'm either going to have to go and buy stuff to take it off or I can maybe, maybe squeeze in and go and get it filed off and just like an, like my usual nude put on top, you know? But yeah, I'm glad I realised now because see if I turned up like this tomorrow, see every single photo shoot I do, it's just like an unspoken and sometimes spoken thing that you just have to have plain nails. You can have your acrylics unless they specifically ask for you to not have acrylics in which I would say no, I will have acrylic. I've had to do that twice. Be like, ah, no, I'm not taking my nails off. You booked me with this, you get this. I'm making green tea for on the go. So what I'm doing is I've got my little tea bag in here, making it into tea by leaving it. And then I've got one of these thermal flasks. This is an Urban Decay one. I got given the last time I was in LA, or two times ago. It holds like two cups. 
So I'm making it in the mug first and then I'm just pouring it in. So I've got it for on the go. And I've been drinking loads of green tea, like two to three cups a day. Actually, I've been drinking more than that, but Mandy, my personal trainer, says that too much green tea can affect your iron absorption, which can make you tired. I'm cutting back on my green tea. I still drink black coffee, but just in the mornings now, so I can get a good sleep. Man, first first time back at personal training yesterday was hard, really, really hard. But I'm back at it again tonight. I've got it at quarter past nine. And then London tomorrow, and then I've got my other, I get home from London at like, I'll probably get back to the house about seven, and then I've got personal training that night as well. So we're back at it three times a week. And honestly, it was when I stopped going that I started just feeling really poorly. So we're back at it. I don't have any flipping food in the house, so I'm going to have to grab stuff on the go. I might try and go to Prep Fitness Kitchen for something to eat for my lunch because I can't not eat all day and then go to personal training because I'll die. I'll be really sick. So healthy on the go. It's just our fourth session. I think so. Yeah. Two to go. Two to go. I'm pink. I love this though. This is warming me up. Close my eyes, pretend I'm in the sunshine. In case any of you guys have missed my Snapchat, Instagram, or previous vlogs, what we're doing is the Exilis Elite treatment, and it is heat and radio frequency. And what it does is it boosts your collagen. It boosts your collagen like a lot. You stop producing collagen at the age of 27. Ish. Yep. Ish. And then it just depletes. And then it year. just depletes every year. So anything you can do to get collagen in there is amazing. amazing. Okay. You heard that. <laughs> Karen's a genius, by the way, a skincare genius. And if you're wondering where it is I go, it's the bell form, which is where I come for everything. And it's Caroline McLean that you want to become with. She's a hero. I'm here, I'm at the hairdressers. I'm half an hour early, so I went to pray and I got, it doesn't actually say it on it, does it? No. But it's chicken and pistachios and salad and roast veg. Healthy, healthy. I'm glad I have time to get something to eat. And we took some pictures of my jaw. I can notice a big difference. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to be eating healthy again and back at the gym because I was so annoyed at myself that I'm not good at it anymore. Mmm. So yeah, get my hair done. And then going to NAF to get my nails fixed. How funny, I'm literally going to all my favorite places on one day. La Belle Forum, Mez Art to see Jack, and then NAF to get my nails done. What a pan per day. Green tea's going strong too. Well, I remember a few of you guys were upset but last week I forgot to show you guys the I'm tired video that Poji made one of my subscribers so I am going to insert it here. You're so tired. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Uh, we're so tired. I napped all day didn't I babe? What? I napped all day. Oh yeah yesterday yeah. <sighs> really tired. Oh my god I'm so tired. Me and Jack are tired we slept in. I am absolutely shattered. I'm so tired. No, I'm too tired. I'm so tired. I'm tired. Over it. I would like to go to my bed please. That's the funniest thing ever. what happens when you watch the sad bit of Vampire Diaries. <laughs> I'm so hormonal today to eating some nuts. It's okay, I'll be fine, Robbie. Got my nails done. Look how glorious they are. Nude with glitter. Yeah, I had to stop watching that for a second. I just don't know what it is about this program. It makes me so sad. One hour, 15 minutes before I have to leave to go to the gym. Honestly, I am so tired. What a busy day. I've done everything. Jack's way out to the gym. I'm not emotionally stable. I've not seen him all day. I need a cuddle. <laughs> when you're editing this, Jack, I love you so much. Don't ever leave me again. Look at this boy. Show me that belly. Oh, lovely. Good boy. Do you want to go outside? He looks Morning. Me and Jack are going. Jack and I. Me, every time I say me and Jack, it's red. Me and Jack are going to Marks and Spencer's Cafe because we are old and we love it. And then I'm getting picked up in two hours. So I got up this morning, did my makeup, 
I slept in, I set my alarm for 8 o'clock and I hit quit instead of snooze. I heard you so you set the alarm, you so didn't sleep in, you, the alarm went off. And then I snoozed oh, yeah, it. Then you snoozed it mm -hmm. yeah. I Sabotage. Got, I got up during the night to do a pee and couldn't get back to sleep. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah the vlog needs to know my nighttime routine. <laughs> Hotel. I am staying at the London Edition, the Edition Hotel, which is one of my favourites. I've stayed here before. I will give you a quick room tour. You come in, the bathroom's right here, nice big mirror, mm, get the picture, mm. and then we've got a nice big shower. I did not know that they have Lulabo. This is my favourite thing ever. I love Lulabo stuff. Now we've got a big bougie shower and a toilet the room just looks gorgeous all wooden love it really cozy nice lights you get like your own furry blanket and stuff and i had a little package waiting for me i'm on the seventh floor which is the top floor of this hotel and the view is great you can see over there the wheel and all london let's open this little press so what did we get we Dear Jamie, we can't wait to see you tomorrow. This mask and charcoal spray launch on the 4th of January, but we thought you might like to have a sneak peek before the shit. <gasps> oh my god. Charged water charcoal spray. Very cool. And then charcoal mask reset and revive. I'm going to use these tonight. Lovely jumpy. So if you haven't guessed already, I am down here with Mac and we are shooting a fun thing tomorrow morning. That's why I'm down, so I'm just down for the night. Tonight I am meeting my friend Jen, who you guys will have seen before. Jen used to work at Urban Decay, so we have been on loads of trips together. Every time I go away with Urban Decay, or every time I have been away with Urban Decay, Jen's been with us. I love her with my whole entire heart. Jen recently moved over to YSL, so she works with YSL right now. I'm meeting her downstairs from here is called the burners tavern which is a really good restaurant apparently i'm really bad at like knowing where the it places to be are but cara looked up the menu and it looks unreal hello I'm just getting ready, got all my bits. The guys are just setting up lights and then we're filming the makeup look using Mac. It'll probably take me about an hour from start to finish to do my makeup. I thought it wasn't gonna be a talking one, but it is. So we'll see if they still want me to talk after I start talking. <laughs> And yeah, that's it. I'm getting picked up after the shoot to go to Heathrow Airport and then home, and then that is me home for Christmas. Yesterday was so crazy. What happened? Oh my god. I'm not crying, I just yawned. Basically, yesterday I woke up at 7. Couldn't sleep at all in that night in the hotel. I couldn't sleep. I think I must have got about 5 hours sleep. Woke up at 7, had my breakfast, got in the car, went to the studio. I was shooting until 2 o'clock, which is when I got picked up. The shoot was really, really good. It was with Mac. I told you that yesterday, I think. But it was really good. Really, really fun. And then I got picked up, taken to the airport, got on the plane, came home, had to go and pick up a parcel from my old address, went to Cara's, picked her up, went to PT, and we hammered it. And I am so sore today. Oh, my legs. It's mostly my legs and the top of my shoulders. It was good. I'm glad I did it. So I was up from like seven, and then by the time I got home and had something to eat, I think I was going to bed about half twelve. So it was a really long day. Today is Friday. Yesterday, when I was away working, the plasterer started. I'm just waiting on him. That's why I'm up early today. I'm just waiting on him getting here so I can let him in. And I think he'll be finished today. We can get ready for Christmas after that because there's no more work getting done. Look at my plaster house. I've got everything in plastered. I'm so excited. So the hall's all finished. I'll show you it from afar. 
all the wallpaper's gone, all been plastered, and then this room is done as well. And I just can't believe it, the hole in the wall's gone. It's made me so excited because once it's dry we can get it painted and then we just need to get floors down and then it's done. I can start furnishing properly. Watching my TV show, get ready, going to Edinburgh today. Whoa! Are you driving? Yeah, I'll drive. Cool. We're in the car! We just need to defrost this bitch. We're going to Edinburgh today, and the last time I was in Edinburgh. Yeah, you're fine. Why are you doing that? It's freezing! Oh, the ice is in the car! Put it down! Oh my god! It's inside! It's inside! Yeah, the last time I was in Edinburgh at the Christmas markets, I was like 13 or 14. 10 years ago. I've not been to a while either. <clears throat> I'm really excited. So we're gonna go and we're just gonna have a wee ponder. A wee wander around the shops and the Christmas markets. And I'm really excited. Festive! And it's Saturday. We're gonna get a hot crepe. Hot crepe? You are a crepe. I'm a, a crepe. crepe. I'm a weirdo. Season today, what's the degree? One. One degree. And today is Saturday, which means a week tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We're having Christmas at our house. My mum and dad are coming up, like midday, and then we're gonna start getting cooking, and then Jack's mum and dad are coming up, and we're all having Christmas dinner together. Me! So cold. That was so much fun though. I got one wee thing for my baby cousin Kingston, but I'm not going to show you in case Kate watching my vlogs. I just shouted at a parking attendant that he was ruining Christmas. Look at him. Just ruining Christmas. Running about ruining Christmas. Me and Jack bumped into loads of you guys today, which is really nice. Everyone was lovely. Oh, yeah, so nice to us. I know. It's been a really nice day actually. I don't know how to do Christmas. Do you know why though? It's because the government gives them so much money to do Christmas because it's the capital. The Christmas market's through. Glasgow's, Glasgow's Christmas market's tiny, isn't it? Yeah, it's just George Square, really. And then the George Square? Oh no, we've got George Square. has got the Continental Market. I've never actually gone and drank at a Christmas market before. Yeah, but I don't think so. Maybe we should. Mm. It's too cold. I like being inside, nice and warm by the fire. I like being in my house in my jammies. Nice, cozy pub. By the fire. Nice cozy, cozy house, nice cozy. cozy. Stop him. <laughs> Listen to me. So Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> me and Jack had a fun day today, and we're gonna go Livingston, and then we're gonna go home to the dog. Here's your aromatic duck water, quarter, and Sichuan chicken. Sichuan, Sichuan. So what you want? Yeah, we do. Hello, me and Jack just got home. House is heating up, we've got a fire on, Drogba's here, he's happy, he's got his toy, he's got his toy, come here, feet. So, we just got back, I wanted to show you some things that I purchased, I got Speak Out, which is the funny game that you have a mouth guard in and you can't speak properly, which I think will be hilarious for Christmas day. I went to Waterstones because I just want to read books again. So I got a book called Then She Was Gone. I was reading loads for a while and I like books like this. So I'll let you know how it is. Then She Was Gone, Good Me, Bad Me. Another one that's one of those ones that's about- Drunk noodles. 
Just nice. Another emergency one. And then I'm really excited about this one. This is The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. And when I was younger, I don't know if you guys remember, he wrote the Northern Lights trilogy. I think it's called Dark Materials. And it's like Northern Lights, something else, and then The Amber Spyglass. And I absolutely loved those books. I used to read them all the time. I actually might reread those again anyway. But I asked the guy in the bookshop, I was like, have you heard if this is good or not? And he started talking about this mad shit about Philip Pullman. His first books were about being an atheist and this one's based on Trump or something like that and I was like no it's not it's literally fiction about little creatures on your shoulder like you need a holiday um and then I got a notebook and I'm really excited about this it's one of the ones that's like a grid and I thought it would be really good for writing down ideas because I always have ideas for videos or even like like things that I would want to buy like outfits and stuff like that and and dates like I always forget dates and stuff so I thought that I could get a notebook that's small enough for my bag that I can just stick in my bag write stuff down and then went to H&M and I got a cosy jumper because I'm going for afternoon tea with my girls tomorrow to St Andrews. So I thought this cosy, cosy jumper would be good because I think we might be going ice skating. This is a nice jumper and it's like, it looks white but it's like an off pink. Jack picked the colour because he says oh, I never wear that colour and it's nice. I got a little pair of gloves for ice skating. Nothing special, I don't know how much these were. Eight and nine. They're not for you. So I got a pair of gloves. So if I fall, I won't hurt my hands. And I got, get out of my face, look, toy. I got baubles that look like cable ties. Uh, an SD card for the camera. I got a cool pair of hoop earrings that have big gold balls at the end. These are from H&M as well. I just thought they were quite sweet. And then this is a total impulse purchase, but I was in the car and the Snapchat filter with the glasses makes me feel adorable. So I got some glasses. Try them on right now, look. Just like the filter. Do you think I look nice? So now I'm gonna maybe even open my notebook and write some things down. So that's what's happening. Me and Jack are now going to chill out. Jack's just ordering a Chinese. Yeah, boy. And then um, we're gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna have a nice Christmas bath with my Lush stuff. Got the fire on. We're just having a really nice Saturday night in. Sorry, bye.